In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw this uh, kitchen floor plan in planimetric. I'm going to change the scale to one to two, which means I'm actually halving the size. And I'm going to have the front corner of my drawing pointing this direction. First thing I need to do is make sure I've got my 45 degree planimetric set square. So I rotate this floor plan to 45 degrees. I measure 12 centimetres, so I am going to half that to six. So I'm going to halve it to seven. Now in these questions in an exam, you'll be given a lot of information. It could be the wall heights and things like that. You'll just have to convert that um, as required. So if they're saying two metre wall heights and a one metre bench height, you'll have to halve that. Now I'm drawing the base of three, so I come across one and a half. making sure that most all of my lines are at that 45 degrees. Now I need to put in, I might draw in this bench and say it is three and a half. So do one and three quarters. So I go three or 30 millimetres, I should say. I should always work in millimetres in this subject. Now what I'm going to do is actually draw the base of that fridge. Which I can tell from this. It's three centimetres, so it's one and a half. And I'm going to draw the base of the bench that goes, wraps all the way around. If I actually I'll go like that. Okay, so what we do from here is we actually draw vertical lines from all of the main points. So if the walls are going up, say two meters or three meters, what I can do, I'll just draw, draw vertical lines to start with nice and light. Then we'll go and measure them off. I'm just going to make them three meters high. So 
So once I've measured one, I don't need to measure everything else because I can just, like in isometric drawing, I can actually just use that information to draw the tops. Tops of all the main points. Okay, so that's our back wall. It's drawn in like that. What I'm going to do now, I can actually... I might actually draw in this. I'm going to make it, say, one metre high. So I just draw, always draw the lines a little bit bigger than what I need. Go through and do them all. Go back and measure. As long as I'm keeping my set square on the base of that page, I know my lines are going to be perfectly drawn at 45 degrees. Now there's something interesting here. I can see that there's these two seats and I can see that they're round. So that tells me that this is actually um, like a hollow type bench. I'm actually just gonna draw that in really quickly because I do wanna talk to you about something to do with circles. So one thing I want you to know is that in planimetric drawings, circles remain as circles. So we can use a circle template to do our circles. So what we can do is just use a circle template and then rule some lines going down. And like these are just strange round bar stools. If I actually make sure the base is at the same point, actually. Go. Now I need to draw in the fridge. So I'm just going to draw vertical lines up from three of the points. I don't know. Actually, no, I'll do all of them. I'm going to make it two meters high. Open an exam, your what you're expected to do wouldn't be as complicated as this because this is actually taking quite a long time. Another thing you can do in planimetric drawings is actually measure things. So I like perspective where the measurements things get smaller. It's a Caroline drawing system, which means that uh, the dimensions of objects stay the same even as they get further away. There's my fridge. Now I'm going to draw this bench in. I'm going to actually make the bench one centimetre high. Now I'm finding this is getting very complicated. A lot of lines going on, which tends to happen in planimetric drawings. So I might need to get out my eraser and tidy up 
unwanted lines. Now I have spent an awful long time on this drawing, so in an exam, I'd really need to consider what I needed to do next to get the maximum um, amount of points for this drawing. So what I could add are some, I might rub out some of the lines that I don't need. could do is just indicate these different cupboards and things very quickly there is a stove there so I might actually go and use my circle template to add in quickly and indicate the hobs of the stove I've set a few vertical lines to make it appear like there's cupboard doors main thing to remember with planimetric drawing and what they'll be looking for with the circles is that you're using an actual circle template not an ellipse template so I could also add in the fridge as a finishing touch not the fridge sorry the um, sink there we go I might actually Leave it at that. There we have a platometric drawing of a kitchen.